first I'm telling you that now we cross the first barrier. We are now in priority area, which has 10,000 hectares, five for Paraguay and five for Brazil. Any access for people that does not work for the entity for Itaipu is not allowed. Soon we are going to see the substation from Paraguayan side. It basically holds the energy. When the energy pro gets produced, it reaches the substation with high tension lines at 520 kilovolts. Now, 90% of Paraguay is sustained with the energy from Itaipu. The spillway, what it does is that it releases the excess of water. When there is so much water on the reservoir and not all of the water can be used to produce energy. Here you can see basically the whole structure. It starts with the earth field dam, rock field dam, the spillway, and there is a curvature that unites the spillway with the main dam. And where the main dam is, is where the energy gets produced. Inside of the units, inside of the white tops. And we have 20 white tops, 10 and 10 for each country. Because the river used to go this way, okay? So they separated it in order to dry it, to build it, and then they blew it out. Yes. And when they started construction, the left side here, mm -hmm. oh, of course the river couldn't stop. So they made it go here. And the explosion was the one that after that um, basically exploded the contention walls. to go underneath the spillway with, with a tunnel which was constructed to make facilities for the workers and the machinery during the construction. And the construction started in 75, 1975. The spillway with only one gate can release like six millions of liters per second. So that's why the spillway doesn't get open much often. The Paraná River. The greenish color of this river is totally natural. It is because on the bottom of the river, there are some rocks and the algae they have is what gives them this greenish color. As we are reaching the dam, you can see there are waters coming out of the structure. These are turbinated waters. They get released to refrigerate the units. So they don't get basically too hot. So the total installed capacity for this dam is for 40,000, 14,000 megawatts per hour. We can go close the white tops, yes? You can touch the white tops if you want to. You okay. will feel the water. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, it's really concrete. And inside the dam is hollow. So okay. it's like a triangle. And there is a hollow space. Okay. That way is more effective and also cheaper. It is just like that inside. Yes, now we are uh, basically in Brazil. You ask uh, what is the biggest dam in the world, right? It is Three Gorges from China. And it's on the Yichang city. But that dam was constructed to stop the floodings from the city. And it has a different kind of priority, not the production of energy. 
but even so, they have more installed capacity with the passing of the years. But Itaipu tends to be the one that produces the most energy annually. Hospedando universidades, laboratórios, incubadoras e o Parque Tecnológico Itaipu. We're going to be 225 meters on sea level. It has two kilometers of, of extension, all with rocks. And it is seven, 70 meters tall. And it has a base of 300 meters. And now here we are at the highest point. We can see here the reservoir or artificial lake. It has a total extension of 1,300 1, kilometers square and it can reach a depth of 120 meters.